Hi everyone, in this video I am going to solve Cambridge O-Levels Mathematics D Paper 1 in a session May June 2023 Paper 1 1. So let's start with the first question. Question number 1 part A work out this. Okay, so first I have to convert the decimal into fraction. One decimal point it's 10 and times this 8 is 1 out of 8 okay now uh, we have to do the one two three four four times one is the same and ten times eight would be eighty right all right now let me convert it into simplest form dividing by two first two times six is twelve two times one is two fourteen two times seven is fourteen two times two is four and uh, two times four is eight and zero right again dividing by two two times three is six two times um, it's zero now seventeen two times eight is sixteen and two times six is twelve two times two is four and zero right again dividing by two so two times one is two two times five is ten two times four is eight two times three is six 2 times 10 is 20 right now it is not divisible by 2 okay so we have to divide it by 10 so when we are dividing by 10 the answer is 154.3 to get rid of fraction it's uh, 1 0 so it's uh, one digit is after the decimal right now for part b 3 by 7 or 56 so it's 3 by 7 times 56 right so first we know that 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 8 is 56. And what is 3 times 8, which is 24? Right. Question number 2, part A. Write down the fraction of this 3 by 3 scale that is shaded. Okay, so this is the total portion is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The total is 9. And the shaded one is this is complete one this is half and this is half so it becomes two and this would be three so three out of nine so this is one by three right part b evaluate 0 0.5 whole scale so this is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 right so 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 times 5 is 25 okay Question number 3 part A. The diagram shows four straight lines meeting at a point. 1, 2, 3, 4 meet at a point. Work out the value of x. Okay. So we know that the angle at a point add up to one, uh, 360 degrees. Right. So it means this is right angle 90 degree. So the sum of x degrees, 120 degrees, 90 degrees and 40 degrees this is equals to 360 degree right let me add 120 and 40 or and 90 90 100 110 20 30 x degree plus 120 plus 130 equals to 360 okay this is x degree what is 120 and 130 0 5 and 2 so plus 250 degrees this is equals to 360 degrees right so x degree would be equals to 360 take away 250 so x would be equals to this is 110 let me do 360 and 250 0 minus 0 is 0, 6 take away 5 is 1, 3 take away 2 is 1, 110 degrees is the value of x, right? Now for part B, uh, ABC is a straight line, ABC and uh, BCD, BCD is an equilateral triangle, means all the three sides and all the three angles are same, so the angles in equilateral triangles are 60 degree. This is also 60 and this is also 60, right. Now the question is work out the value of y, what is y? So this is a straight line. So angle at a straight line is 
180 degree right so it means y degree plus 60 degree this is equals to 180 degree so y is 180 take away 60 which is 120 right Question number four, part A. Benjamin's age is T years. Number one, Mariam is five years younger than Benjamin. Write an expression for Mariam's age in terms of T. Five years younger. So it's T minus five. From Benjamin's age, we have to subtract five. Number two, Colin's age is twice Benjamin's age. Write an expression for Colin's age in terms of T. Two times of Benjamin. Two times of T right now for part b given that a is 3 b is negative 2 evaluate 5 a minus 2 b 5 times a minus 2 times of b 5 times 3 is 15 negative times negative is positive 2 times 2 is 4 and 15 plus 4 is 19 Question number 5, part A. Insert one set of brackets to make the calculation correct. Okay, so if I put the bracket on the first two and check the calculation is correct or not, 3 times 3 plus 5 is 8. So we have 8 times 2 and minus 7. Okay, 8 times 2 is 16 minus 7. From 16, take away 7, we have 9. Yes, the collect the correct it's correct so the bracket is on 3 and 5 right now for uh, part b insert plus minus and multiply to make the calculation correct okay if i do plus minus and multiply over here right let me do this separately number one three plus five minus two times seven okay so again we are using the board mass First, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. First, we have to do multiplication. So, 2 times 7 is 14. 3 plus 5 minus 14. And then we have to do addition. 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 take away 14. This is not equals to 20. Now, the second option we have is 3 if plus, minus, and multiply. If we do mm, negative 3 minus 5 times 2 and add with 7 right multiplication is first 3 minus 10 plus 7 and then we have addition 3 minus 17 3 take away 17 is not equals to 20 right now the third option if I put the multiplication sign in 3 and 5 and then check with subtraction 2 plus 7 okay 3 times 5 is 15, minus 2 plus 7, okay, and now we have to add in 15, minus 15 take away 2 is 13, plus 7, and 13 plus 7 is 20, right, so this is the correct insertion, it's multiplication, and then subtraction, and then addition. Question number six, part A. Complete the pattern so that AB is the only line of symmetry. Okay, this is the only line of symmetry. So if we complete the pattern, this shape would be okay. Okay. Now for this one, two, it's one, two, and we have two, yes. Now A, B is the only line of symmetry. Both are identical. Both the sides are the same, you can see. Right? Now for part B, a hexagon has a rotational symmetry of order 6. Number of sides in hexagon are 6 sides. Right? The parameter of hexagon is 30 cm. Draw a sketch of hexagon labeling the length of the sides lengths of the sides okay the parameter of hexagon is 30 means sum of all six sides is equals to 36 sides equals to 30 this is the parameter so what is the length of each side 
30 divide 6 6 times 5 is 30 means each length is 5 centimeter right so let me draw the sketch of hexagon just a rough sketch Okay, so all the lengths are 5 centimeter. Right. Question number 7, part A here are 5 temperatures in degree Celsius. Write these temperatures in order from coldest to hottest coldest is the temperature in negative so minus 21 is the coldest temperature and then minus 18 minus 10 minus 2 and the hottest is 17 degree right part b work out the temperature that is 5 degree colder than negative 18 in negative 18 we have to subtract 5 so negative 23 degrees right question number eight a rope is cut into three pieces with the length in ratios three ratio five ratio four right so the total is three plus five plus four is twelve right the length of the shortest piece of the rope is 180 centimeter so this is a shortest piece of the rope part a find the length in centimeter of the longest piece of the rope the longest is five right Okay, so if the shortest is 3, which is equals to 180, what the longest is, longest is 5, what 5 is, 5 would be 180 divides 3 and times by 5, right? Now, 180 times 5 is, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 1 is 5 and we have 9 plus 4 is 9. So here we have 900 divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and double 0. So it's 300 centimeter. Right. Now for part B, find the total length of the rope. Give your answer in meters. Total length of the rope. So we have given that 3 is representing the shortest is 180 centimeter. The longest is 5 which is 300 centimeter what 4 is right so 4 is equals to again 180 divides 3 and times by 4 right now we have to do 4 times 180 4 times 0 is 0 4 times 8 is 32 4 times 1 is 4 5 6 7 so it's 720 so this is 720 divides 3. All right. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12 and 0. So 4 is equals to 240. Now let me find the total length in centimeter first. So we can say that the total length of the rope is 180 plus 300 plus 240 right zero plus zero plus zero eight nine ten eleven twelve two three four five six seven seven twenty right so this is seven twenty centimeters We have to convert it into meters okay one meter is equals to 100 centimeters right so 1 over 100 meters is 1 centimeter we have to find for 720 centimeter so for 720 centimeter we have 720 divides 100 
in meters. 0 is cancelled with 0. 72 divided by 10 is 7.2 meters. Question number 9. The diagram shows triangles A and B. Okay. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. A to B is a rotation. Yes. It's a rotation. It's 90 degree and clockwise. Okay, and what is now the center of rotation we have to find? Okay, now for center of rotation, look at this point. This point is x is 1, y is 1, x is 4, y is 1, x is 4, y is 2. Okay, now this point changes to x is 1, y is minus 1, x is 2, y is minus 4, and x is 1, y is minus 4. Okay, so as you can see, x, y which is let's say 4 2 it changes to y minus x when x y switches to y minus x so it is a rotation about origin center of rotation is 0 0 right question number 10 part a work out this keep your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form okay so as a mixed number, first let me convert the mixed number into improper fraction. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 out of 3 and times 8 by 9. Okay. Now 4 times 8 is 32 over 3 times 9 is 27. Converted into mixed number, we have 1 and 27 times 1 is 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So it's 5, 1 whole, 5 out of 27, right. Now for part B, Kate has a bunch of grapes, bunch of grapes are total, let's say 100, over 100 the total, so this is just 1. She ate one fourth of the grapes in the morning. She ate two thirds of the grapes in the afternoon. Work out the fraction of grapes that she has not eaten. Okay, so total eaten grapes are one fourth plus two third. Okay, make the same fraction. So one times three and four times three is twelve. Plus two times four is eight and three times four is twelve. 8 plus 3 is 11 out of 12. 11 out of 12 is the total that is eaten. Okay, not eaten. From the total, 1, we have to subtract the 1 which is eaten. Okay, so this is 12 over 12 minus 11 over 12. So this is 1 out of 12. This fraction is not eaten. 1 out of 12. All right. Question number 11, solve the inequality. Shifting all the, uh, combining the like terms. So x minus 3x is greater than 7 plus 5. Minus 2x is greater than 12. Dividing by negative 2, dividing by negative 2. So we have to reverse the inequality sign. x is less than minus 6. Question number 12, part A. Ali keeps a record of a, the computer games he plays. Out of the first six games, Ali wins four. So he wins four out of six. Uh, out of the first 20 games, Ali wins 13. He wins 13 out of 20. Use these results to find the best estimate for the probability that Ali will not win the next computer game he plays. Okay, the next computer game he place is uh, he will not win 7 out of 20 right 
Now for part B, a spinner is spun n times, the spinner lands on red 14 times, the relative frequency for the spinner landing on red is 0 0.2, find the value of n, right. So the formula for relative frequency is frequency over total. Right, so we have given the relative frequency which is 0 0.2. This would be equal to the frequency on red is 12 and the total is n. We have to solve for n. Cross multiplication n is equals to 14 divided by 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is basically 2 by 10. So if I can say 0 0.2 is 2 by 10. Or we can say 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10. And 1 by 0 0.2 is just 5. So n would be equals to 14 times 5. 5 times 4 is uh, 20. 5 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 7. So it's 70 times. Question number 13, part A. The bearing of MIG field from Lenten is 156 degrees. Calculate the bearing of Lenten from MIG field. Okay, let me draw this first. All right, if I can say this is MIG field and this is Lenten, right? Let me draw the north line at MIG field. This is the north line. The bearing of MIG field from Lenten is 156. This is 156 degrees, right? Now we have to calculate the bearing of Lenten from MIG field. Right, so we have to draw the north line at London and we have to calculate this whole angle. This is the bearing, right? Okay, so if I use the concept of alternate angles, these are the two parallel lines. The north lines are parallel and they are connecting with one line. So this angle and this angle is same because these are two alternate angles and the straight line is 180 degree. All right, so in 180 add 156, we will get the bearing. 0 plus 6 is 6. 3, um, 8 plus 5 is 13. And this is 3. So 336 degrees. Now for part B, on the map, the distance between LinkedIn and McField is 4.5 cm. This is on the map. The actual distance between LinkedIn and McField is 9 km. Find the scale of the map in the form 1 ratio n on the map, right, in centimeters basically. So if 4.5 cm, this is equals to 9 km right so we have to find what is one centimeter one centimeter is nine kilometer divides 4.5 right so first let me simplify 4.5 4.5 is equals to 45 by 10 or we can say that 5 times 9 is 45 and 5 times 2 is 10 and 1 over 4.5 is one centimeter is nine kilometer it's reciprocal 2 by 9 so 9 is cancelled with 9 this is 2 kilometer and we have to convert the kilometers into centimeters we know that 1 centimeter is equals to 100 thousand kilometer 1 2 3 4 5 zeros yes so it is 200 thousand right Question number 14, expand and simplify part A. Three, 5 times 3 is 15x, 5 times 2 is 10, negative 10, 3 times 2 is minus 6x, and negative times negative is positive, 3 times 3 is 9. 15x and minus 6x plus 9 minus 10. 15 take away 6 is 9x, and 10 take away 9 is minus 1. 9x minus 1 is the simplest form. Now for part B, so we have um, 2x times x is 2x square plus 2 times 7 is 14. So minus 14x plus 3x and minus 3 times 7 is 21. So this is 2x square 
uh, in 14 we have to subtract 3 which is 11 negative 11 x negative 21 right let me write down the simplest answer 2x square minus 11 x minus 21 right number 15 uh, these are the first four terms of a sequence 1 7 13 and 19 uh, write an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence right now let me find out the difference between the term of this sequence so in 1 if i add 6 you will get 7 in 7 add 6 is 13 in 13 add 6 is 19 so it is the arithmetic sequence so a n equals to a plus n minus 1 into d right a is the first term which is 1 plus n minus 1 and d is the common difference which is 6 right so this is 1 plus 6 n minus 6 so this is 6 n minus 5 right question number 16 o m n is a sector of a circle center o o n is 20 centimeter this is the radius and the area of a sector is 30 pi centimeter square find the value of x okay we have given area so let me use a formula for area of a sector area of a sector is theta over 360 degree pi r square right so let me substitute the value the area is 30 pi equals to theta which is x sorry 360 degree pi radius is 20 it's q right so we can cancel pi with pi we have 30 equals to x over 360 and 20 square is 20 times 20 is 400 okay let's solve for x so 30 times 360 divides 400 is the x value right for the simplification zeros cancel with zero this zeros cancel with zero three times 36 divides four is the x value x is three times 36 divided by four okay so 36 times by three three times six is 18 and three times three is nine and ten one of four divides four x is 108 sorry 108 divided by 4 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 and 28 so 4 times 7 is 28 so the angle x is 27 degrees question number 17 the mass of the planet saturn is given the mass of the planet venus is given calculate the difference in mass between saturn and venus saturn and venus Saturn is 5.7 times 10 to the power 26 minus the Venus is 4.9 times 10 to the power 24. Okay, so we have to make the same powers. So if I add 2 here, it means we have to move 2 units to the left side. Okay, so this become 5.7 times 10 to the power 26 minus 0 0.049 times 10 to the power 26 right okay so now we have 5.7 and 0, 0.0 let me subtract we have 7 it's 6 10 it's 9 and it's 10 10 minus 9 is 1 9 minus uh, 4 is 5 6 minus 0 is 6 5 minus 0 is 5 all right so we can say the simplest answer is 5.651 times 10 to the power 26. So you can say 5.7 subtract 0 0.049 and then it's same 10 to the power 26. Right. Question number 18. Rearrange the formula to make x the subject. So scaling on both sides y squared is equals to x plus 2 over 3 cross multiplication 3y square equals to x plus 2 and what is x 3y square minus 2 is your x value all right question number 19 a and b are the points on the circumference of a circle center at o 
T A and T B are tangents to the circle. So T A and T B are tangents, and we know that tangents have same length. So T A equals to T B, and O A and O B is same. These are the radii of the same circle. Show that the triangle O B T and O A T are congruent. Give a reason for each statement you make. Right. So the first reason is uh, tangents have same length. We can say uh, T A equals to T B equal tangents right the second reason we can say is equal radii OA equals to OB the reason is equal radii okay and the third reason is we know that tangent is always perpendicular to the radius of a circle T A is a tangent, it is perpendicular to the radius. T B is a tangent, it is perpendicular to the radius. So we can say O A T is equals to O B T, which is 90 degree. So we can say that tangents are perpendicular to the radius of a circle right so by side angle side postulate we can say that the triangle OBT and OAT are congruent all right Question number 20, we have given f of x, find f inverse of x. So for f inverse of x, we can say y equals to the function f of x, which is 10 plus 7x. And then switching the variables, we can say x is equals to 10 plus 7y. And now we have to solve for y. So x minus 10 divided by 7 is your y value. And this y is my f inverse of x. x minus 10 over 7 right number 21 the diagram shows two rectangles a b c d and p q r s okay uh, rectangle a b c d is mathematically similar to rectangle p q r s okay the, they are mathematically similar the ratios of the corresponding sides are equal we have given a b which is 12 centimeter b c is 9 centimeter and p q is 8 centimeter we don't have q r right find the shaded area right so first we have to find qr as we know that the two triangles are similar right so we can say that the ratio ab ratio pq is equals to bc and ratio qr right so here we can find easily qr right ab is 12 pq is 8 equals to 9 out of x let's say this is x right cross multiplication x is over here which is 9 times 8 by 12 9 times 8 is 72 divided by 12 and 12 times 6 is 72 so the x value is 6 this is 6 centimeter right now we have to find the shaded area so for shaded area we have to find the area of the larger one okay shaded area area of large rectangle which is length times width large rectangle subtract the area of the smaller rectangle because smaller one is not shaded right okay so larger rectangle is again length times width 12 times 9 minus the other one is uh, 8 times 6 all right 12 times 9 is 108 minus 8 times 6 is 48 okay 108 subtract 48 8 minus 8 is 0 and from 4 take uh, 10 take away 4 is 6 so this is 60 centimeter square is the shaded area question number 22 factorize part a so we have to let me arrange them first 7y minus 21 plus 2xy minus 6x. Let me take 7 common y minus 3 
and uh, 2x is common y minus 3 yes the factors are y minus 3 and uh, 7 plus 2x right now for part b we have 3 okay this is um, let me take 3 common a square minus 4b square this is 3 a plus 2b and a minus 2b right using the formula of difference of squares okay question number 23 the attendance at uh, a cricket match is 36,000 correct to the nearest thousand nearest thousand so one by two right one by two thousand we can say means thousand by two which is 500 part a write down the minimum number of people at the cricket match minimum is we need to find the lower bound right so lower bound is basically 36,000 we have to subtract 500 right so this is 35,500 part b the number of male attending the match is 21,000 correct to the nearest 500 so this is 500 divided by 2 mm, this is 250 right this is the number of male attending the cricket match is 21,000 and females are the rest in the total are 36,000 find the maximum number of females that could be attending the cricket match maximum means we have to find the upper bound all right okay so we know that the total attendance are the sum of male and female right we have to find the maximum number of females to, so uh, let me so make the equation for females right the females is basically that from total we have to subtract the males right so the maximum of female is means the upper bound of female so it means the upper bound of total and the lower bound of males right okay so the total are 36,000 we have to find the upper bound means adding 500 so this is 36,000 we have to add 500 this is correct to the nearest thousand and then we subtract one because this is to the uh, hundred okay minus the male lower bound male is 21,000 correct to the nearest 500 it's lower bound so minus 250 so the this is in terms of hundreds so we have to convert the thousands in terms of hundreds as well right okay so 36,000 500 and subtracting 1 is 36,499 minus 21,000 uh, subtracting 250 is um, 20,750 right now let me subtract we have 36,499 and 20,750 this is 9 this is 4 we have to borrow 5 and 14 14 take away 7 is 7 this is 5 and this is 1 right so it's 1 5 7 4 9 1 15749 are the maximum number of females that could be attending the cricket match question number 24 100 batteries are tested to see how long they last the table shows the results number of hours and the frequency complete the histogram to show this information so for histogram we need the number of hours and the class uh, frequency density okay the number of hours we have given frequency density is basically equals to frequency over class width right so the for formula for frequency density is frequency over class width 
okay so we have the frequency this is f now let me find the class width the class width of 10 and 15 is 5 15 to 21 is 6 the class width of 21 and 30 30 minus 21 is 9 and 50 minus 30 is 20 right now let me find the frequency density which is frequency over class width 10 by 5 is 5 times 2 is 10 it's 2 24 over 6 6 times 4 is 24 36 over 9 36 by 9 9 times 4 is 36 and 30 by 2 is 3 by 2 which is 1.5 now let me complete the histogram so the first number of hour is 10 to 15 the frequency density is 2 okay from 10 to 15 this is 10 and this is 15 this is 2 okay and then from 15 to 21 is 4 which is already done 15 to 21 this is 4 the next is 21 to 30 is also 4 21 to 30 is also 4 right and the last one is from 30 to 50 is 1.5 30 to 50 is 1.5 this is 1 and 1.5 all right question number 25 find the value of a and the value of b so a cube and x power 3b this is equals to 27 right uh, 27 x to the power 4 okay so if I compare the variables which is a cube equals to 27 so we know that 3 cube is equals to 27 so a value is 3 okay now let me compare the uh, powers 3b equals to 4 and b is 4 by 3 so b value is 4 by 3 right number 26 a is the point minus 2 3 and b is the point 4 7 part a find the coordinates of the midpoint of a b so the midpoint of a b is midpoint as a formula adding the x components dividing by 2 minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2 and adding the y components dividing by 2 3 plus 7 divided by 2 so in minus 2 plus 4 is 2 by 2 and this is 10 by 2 which is 1 5 part b line l is a locus of the points that are equidistant from a and b find the equation of line L equidistant it means we have to find the perpendicular bisector of AB right so for this we need the midpoint and the slope the negative slope negative reciprocal so first let me find the slope of AB which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 which is 7 minus 3 over x2 is 4 minus x1 is 2 so from 7 take away 3 is 4 and this would be 6 so this is 2 by 3 right now let me find the slope of negative reciprocal right slope of perpendicular bisector of ab which is minus 3 by 2 okay now to find the equation of line that is locus of the point that are equidistant from ab the equation of line l is y equals to or we have a point yes y minus y naught equals to m into x minus x naught right y naught is the midpoint which is 1 5 uh, x naught and y naught is 1 5 and m is the slope so y minus 5 equals to the slope is minus 3 by 2 into x minus 1 okay let me simplify cross multiplication we can do 2y minus 2 times 5 is 10 equals to negative 3x and positive 3 
right shifting the variables to the left 2y plus 3x equals to 3 plus 10 which is equals to 13 so we can say that the equation of line x is 2y plus 3x equals to 13 all right question number 27 o a b c is a parallelogram o a b c this is a parallelogram right opposite sides are parallel o a is 2 a o c is 3 c m is the midpoint of b c b c its midpoint right okay now uh, t is the point on o b t is the point on o b such that o t ratio t b is to ratio 1 uh, part a find o b in terms of a and c o to b follows the path of o a and a b o a we have given which is 2 a a b and o c these are parallel this is also 3 c right so we can say o b is the sum of o a plus a b o a is 2 a and a b is 3 c so o b is 2 a plus 3 c right and we have given that t is the point on o b right o to t is 2 by 3 2 by 3 of o b which is 2a plus 3c and this is 1 by 3 of ob right now for part b express uh, as simple as possible in terms of a and b number 1 a m all right and we know that m is the midpoint of bc if this is 2a this is also 2a this is half of 2a and half of 2a so this is a and a right now let me solve for a to m let me connect a with m a to m right a to m is a to b and b to m which is 3a 3c and negative of a right let me write down a m is a b plus b m a b is 3 c and b m is negative of a right now for second part is a t okay a to t so a t is a b and b t plus b t we have a b you can see 3 c and 1 by 3 of ob okay a to b is 3 c b to t we have t to b right so negative of 1 by 3 of ob which is 2 a plus 3 c right now let me simplify this this is 3 c minus 2 by 3 a minus c 3 is cancelled with 3 right so this is equals to 2c minus 2 by 3a now part c show that atm is a straight line okay we have to prove that this is a straight line okay in order to prove that atm is a straight line we have to prove that at is parallel to am then they are straight lines okay so we can say that a t is parallel to a m right so it means a t is some constant times of a m right we have a t we have a m a t is 2 c minus 2 by 3 a is some constant am is 3c minus a right so if i can take uh, 2 by 3 common so we have 3c minus a equals to k 3c minus a right so this k value is 2 by 3 this implies k is 2 by 3 so we can say that uh, here we prove that a t 
M is a straight line because they are parallel. Okay. So that was the last paper question of our paper. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.